Chris. So we're here today just to do a quick video on constructing with foam. We uh, are going to be making a Batman gauntlet. Yay. And it's going to kind of go over everything we talked about in our past few videos, um, materials wise, construction, mm -hmm. and you're just going to get a chance to see how we put it all together. Yep, just a nice start, start to finish how to make a gauntlet out of foam. Thanks for, for watching. <laughs> That's the dog. That's my dog. He's embarrassing. He heard it. <laughs> all right, to get started first, we've got to pull out all the different tools that we will need to do this. we got some scissors, an X-Acto knife or a utility knife, a pen. We're also going to be using some contact cement with a silicone brush. That way the glue is nice and easy to pull off. We also have a nice board. That way we don't have to worry about cutting up our table. All right, our first step here is to pin down the template to the foam so we can trace it easily and cut it out. We're using a six millimeter foam here so the gauntlet will be nice and sturdy. It won't just flop around. Um, for this template, we did find this guy online. Templates can usually be found for most popular things. Uh, you also can use uh, a Pepecura as well, which we will talk about uh, in a later segment. So now that the main piece is cut out, I'm going to be adding the details to the gauntlet. This template had a couple different things on there, such as these larger pieces. We're also going to be cutting out fins and buckles. I'm going to be tracing everything onto the main piece just to make sure everything lines up, and as well as cutting out the pieces on 3mm foam. It's a little bit thinner, and it's just going to add a little bit more dimension to the gauntlet. Um, the fins, however, are going to be on 6mm foam because we want them more rigid and not, not flopping over because who wants a floppy fin? Now that we have everything cut out, now it's time to sand. So we start with a lower grit first with a nice 220 to get rid of all those kind of rough edges and any kind of stray bits of foam we might have. After that we up it to a 400 grit to really make it nice and smooth. Uh, so especially when you're gluing edges, you want, you want them as clean as possible to have the best adhesion when gluing them together. Now that we have everything sanded, it's time to use the heat gun. So we want to do this because heating the foam actually closes up the different cells, making it a flatter surface. So when you're ready to paint, the paint won't get absorbed into the foam. The final step in construction is to glue everything together. We're using contact cement and in order for contact cement you have to glue each of the sides that you want to be stuck together and then you have to let it sit for a few minutes. So when you are applying the glue you want to do a thin even coat and then let it sit for like maybe five minutes. It's going to dry and then it's going to stick. It's kind of weird. Why would dry glue stick? But it does. I don't know. Magic. you're attaching the sides of your armor piece together, you want to make sure that they are lying flush and not one side is higher than the other or else it's not going to look like one cohesive piece. It's totally okay to go back and, you know, pull it apart. You can pull the contact cement apart. You can add more glue if you need to. 
You just want to make sure that it's all going together as one solid piece and not just looking like two pieces formed together. The construction of this complete, we're going to be making our video next week to be of us sealing it and painting it, so make sure that you tune in to check out to see how the final product comes out. It's gonna be a great time! Thanks! Bye!